So in today's little video, I'm going to be talking about how the body and trauma and how it, um, guess my little take on it and the things I've come across in researching and how it kind of works on from my perspective and that. So, but I suggest everyone do their own uh, research on this before I dive deep. So this is just kind of my perspective of what I've learned so far. So it's this weird thing that with, um, I guess, with trauma is that we don't allow ourselves to process, say, not just trauma itself, like, say, sadness, anger, and so forth. And it kind of stores up in areas of our body, especially if you had a very traumatic situation, so your body, is if, so if you haven't processed through it properly, that your body, you know, starts, you know, storing it up in certain areas, you know, you're constantly in fight or flight. And I heard a really good analogy on this. So when a dog, say, for example, runs into a um, door, the first thing it does is, you know, it kind of shakes itself, shakes it away kind of thing, and then gets back going. As humans, we're taught to, you know, bottle up because we're not supposed to express it. You know, you've got to be happy all the time and so forth. And also, un, you know, unexpressed kind of trauma and what's happened also leads to, I guess, you know, other situations that happen in your life, such as work stress, you know, family stress, and your body will react the same way. Even if it's a little bit, you know, even if it's way smaller than what's happened in the past, the body can't recognize that. So every time you start to get stressed, you go back into that same size, the same feelings will come back up and so forth, especially if you haven't processed it, processed it properly. And it can also lead down to a couple of other areas too, because if you are in a constant state of flight or flight, when your body is releasing all these chemicals constantly, and it kind of when you're in a state of flight or flight, it shuts down, you know, slows down the immune system. So then it's easier for, I guess, you to pick up viruses and et cetera, et cetera. And also having all these chemicals, like bad chemicals constantly going, which these chemicals are good for short periods of time, especially, I guess, back hundreds and hundreds of years ago when we we're living, like, or thousand years ago when we we're living in Africa, when you're running away from like a tiger, they were great. But now it's, we're living in a world where they're constantly put on, which this leads to a range of many diseases and stuff because it's so stored up and your, and your body has nowhere to guess to release it. So this is like one of the things that I think that's very important is that we start Working out ways how to release trauma or, you know, these bad emotions that come up or say anger, sadness, instead of bottling it up and it's going to harm us in a lot a longer run by doing this. So, and I guess there's the best way, there's one way special with anger is that, you know, just go in your room and scream. Scream as loud as you can just to like get it all out instead of bottling it up because it will come up later later down the track as I was saying before but yeah I hope this uh, little video gives you a little bit of advice on how the body you know deals with trauma and that but yeah you know if you have any questions just reach out if you you know know a little bit more be reach out too but yeah hope you enjoyed today's video cheers